Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 17, letter combinations of a phone number. We are given a string containing digits from 2 to 9 inclusive. Return all possible letter combinations that the number could represent. Return the answer in any order. A mapping of digits to letters, just like on the telephone buttons, is given below. Note that 1 does not map to any letter. For example, 1, we're given the digits of 2 and 3 and our output is A, D, A, E, A, F, B, D, B, E, B, F, C, D, C, E, C, F. And this is because 2 maps to A, B, C, and 3 maps to D, E, F. So we have to combine all three. For example, 2, we're given the digits of an empty string, so our output is empty as well. And for example, 3, we're given digits of 2, and our output would be A, B, C. Let's go through an example. For this example, our input digits is going to be 2 and 5. So the first thing we're going to want to do for our solution is have a map that correlates digits to letters. So this would be the map where 2 is ABC, 3 is DEF, 4 is GHI, 5 is JKL, 6 MNO, and 7 PQRS, 8 is TUV, 9 is WXYZ. Our solution for this problem is going to utilize recursion and backtracking. And backtracking is an algorithmic technique where the goal is to get all solutions to a problem using the brute force approach. And it uses recursion to find a solution set by building a solution step by step, increasing levels with time. With backtracking and recursion, it's a lot easier to see the problem laid out visually. So we start by passing our first digit into our backtracking function which is two, and two maps to A, B, and C. So then for each letter, we will then pass the letter with the next digit of five through the backtracking again. And five is J, K, L. So we get A, J, then we get A, K, A, L, and we add all three of those to our result array. Then we'll go through our B, and we do B, J, B, K, B, L, adding those to our result array. Then we do C, J, C, K, C, L, adding all those to our result array as well. And with backtracking and recursion, we're able to efficiently do every possible letter combination. And if the input digits had a third digit, we would just get another layer deep. So for this example, as we saw from the diagram, our output is A, J, A, K, A, L, B, J, B, K, B, L, C, J, C, K, C, L. Let's jump into the code. The first thing we want to do is check for when our digits input is empty, and in that case we just return an empty array right away. Next we want to create our map that maps our digits to our letter values. Next we'll define our result array. Next, we want to call our backtrack function. And once our backtrack function returns, we'll want to return our result. For our backtrack function, we'll want to pass values, but let's define that function first so we can understand what we're passing to it. So there's four values we want to pass to our backtrack function. The first is our combination, which is the combination of our letters. The second is our next digits, so it's whatever digits are remaining in our digit string. The third value is our map, and our fourth value is our result. So the first thing we wanna do in our backtrack function is determine if we are at the last digit in our digit string. And if we are, we want to append our current letter combination to our result array. If we're not at the end of our digits, we want to recursively call our backtrack function for the remaining digits. And we wanna make sure we do this for every letter we have left for that digit. And we can do that by using a for loop. And when we call our backtrack function, we wanna add our current letter that we're looking at to our combination string. So we can do that by doing combination plus letter. Then for our next digits value, we want to pass our digits without our current digit we're looking at. Then for map and result, we're just going to pass our map and result again. 
Now let's go back to the first time we call backtracked and determine the values we want to pass into it. For a combination, we want to pass an empty string. For our next digits, we just want to pass our digit string. For map and result, we just want to pass our map and result variables. That's it for this problem, so let's run this. Just had one syntax error, just make sure the backtrack function is aligned with your class. So let's run this again. All test case passed, so let's submit this. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.